God, that is a lot of zombies. Holy sh! <laughs> Goodness gracious! Wow. How many Z? That's got to be the biggest horde I've seen yet. I'm. There's got to be at least forty zombies in this horde. Oh, that was perfect. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Rebirth. I am the Bearded OG, and we have found our drop here. I just needed to go a little bit further uh, to the northeast. We were really close to it the last in the last episode, but not quite close enough. All right, so this is the drop. If you didn't see the last episode, this is the drop that we got when we finished the first purge stage. And it doesn't... That's... Those are enemies. <laughs> I, thought, I thought the note we read said... We weren't going to get enemies. What the hell? All right. Uh, I, I mean, I thought it said we were going to we'll get enemies the next time around. All right. Well. Level seven. I think that's the first time we've seen bandits. Club's expertise boost. Club's expertise boost. And a club. Pretty fucking worthless, if you ask me. Uh, the cash wasn't bad, though. Reading this book will boost the club's crafting expertise by 10%. This boost will also affect overall expertise progression. If XP progression is currently leveling the thug class, this book will give a 30% boost towards the next class level instead. All right. Well, I guess we'll, we'll read it. Um, but I have no intention of doing anything with clubs. But it's, you know, we might as well. There's no reason not to. And it is interesting that So, wait a minute. That's a, a baseball bat's a pretty damn good club. Does that mean that we Where's the thug at? Builder thug. Uh, didn't it say we just got fragments? I don't see any fragments, though. I don't know. I'm confused. I thought it said we just had two of two fragments, but where are those fragments? I don't see them. Uh. Did give us the progress there. I mean, I wouldn't mind a shotgun. But, okay, anyway, let's see what's in here. And yeah, there isn't any orange smoke coming out of this, but it did. I did see that pulsating parachute thing when I got close enough to it. So hopefully this will give us something good, uh, like a shit ton of brass casings or even 7.62s, for example. Look at all that stuff. A ta okay, repairable table saw, a farm bundle, golden rod, bicycle, knockdown resistance, block damage, Twinkies, DNA boost, charisma, and $630 make you holla. All right. Overall, pretty good shit, really. Um. Okay, so these, oh, that's pretty good, 15%. Increased block damage while mining. Okay, that's a hand slot item. 
So we can put that in there. 10% block damage. And then this is a foot slot item. Modify and put that in there. Okay, great. Twinkie gives us five food, one health. That should be minus one health. <laughs> and stamina bonus. This boost will alter your genetic makeup, increasing your negotiation abilities. I think we have to buy an injector for that. And then these guys, recipes, range, re uh, thingy-madoodle. Venus book will boost the heavy handguns crafting. Um, don't we have to... It, it appears like we can craft these in our own inventory. We just have to have enough of the fragments. And, of course, we would want the machine guns and the axes. Long-range heavy handguns. Assault rifles. Oh, so are these all just only for guns? Apparently, machine... Hmm. All right. Cool. Parable table saw. Uh, we got a shotgun bundle. Low grade magazine part. Or no, sorry, that's a weapons bundle, not a shotgun bundle. Okay, and then this is a farm plot bundle. What do we get there? Get some seeds and some farm plots. Okay. I think with farm plots, though, we have to... Don't we have to do some stuff like irrigation and that sort of thing? Farm plots are required to... It can be dug up and placed elsewhere. Put the crafting block on your hopper. Okay, but it doesn't say anything specific about farming. But I'm pretty sure it's supposed to have water and light and maybe even temperatures a thing too. Look at oh wow, look at all the cash we got in total. That's pretty damn good. Really good. Um this we might as well sell. There's no point in having a second bicycle thing, but these other parts we'll probably keep. Okay. Well, yeah, look at that chunk of change. That is nice. All right. So, um, yeah, I hadn't necessarily planned on starting the next episode, but because I was just out looking for the, for the drop, and I went far enough to see that, and so obviously I wanted to show that on camera. Um, I want to get going on more purges, but we're still pretty light on ammunition um the things that we're looking for are a propane tank and we're looking for also a uh, a distiller those are a couple of things that are really high up uh, uh, on our list so i guess let's go ahead and um Maybe let, let's just maybe look for some low level uh, purges that we can do that we you don't necessarily need to expend a bunch of ammo on. I think that's probably our best bet at this point in time. And we'll also go back home and see if we can set these crop plots down. I believe they can get water from, you know, from rainfall. And it does rain a fairly decent amount of time. Uh, I did go to that wrecked over there, and I bought some brass casings from him, but I haven't visited the south wrecked yet. So we could also, you know, stop by there. Another thing we could do is we could go to the western end of the city, which I have not been to yet, and we might even find another wrecked, uh, which would be great, because then, you know, of course, we'd have three traders that we could do stuff with. Um, so yeah, let's go over here and we should be able to just put those crop plots all the way up on the top of our structure here. Okay, so let's come up here and let's grab these crop plots and we'll put them here. And then we got mushrooms. Can we grow mushrooms? Yeah, we can just grow mushrooms straight up. 
like we can in vanilla. And we'll do the yucca there and the coffee there. And we'll just see what happens. I mean, they've got plenty of sunshine. They'll get plenty of water when it rains. Uh, I just don't know if... Oh, okay. So if we look at this, um, growth halted, water source required. Needs 45, currently 66 degrees. I'm going to say that probably needs a minimum of 45 degrees. So I think the temperature is okay. We just basically need to wait for it to rain. And it looks like the same thing for the coffee seed. Okay. And the same thing for the mushroom. Very good. Okay, so we'll, we'll check those, you know, like I said, after it rains. Um, The sugar rush... Oh. The sugar rush will trigger a rampage. Okay. That's interesting. Hmm. So, okay, uh, just... The thing that I'm a little corn fuzzled on is... It said we had fragments to make a thug book, but I don't know where those fragments are. Uh, I also want to look at something else, too. If we go down here, I have more of these fragment things. I've just been kind of hanging on to them because I assumed that we needed a... Um, you know, like a uh, a blueprint bench thingy for that. Oh, we should try uh, some of the music, too. Uh, I did talk to Furious Ramsey, and he said that that stuff should not be copyrighted. Um, Okay, so this is arranged expertise. So if I go to recipes... Um, and we... Uh, okay, hold on. Assault... Oh, so is, okay, so is that, oh, I see, okay. So if we do Axe's expertise, we can, okay, we can craft this. I see, so we don't need, we don't need the blueprint bench for those. All right, and then if we go to here, ranged expertise, we would want, of course, machine guns. We can craft that too. Now, if I... Okay, reading this book will boost the machine gun's crafting expertise by 10%. The boost will also affect the overall expertise progression. If the XP, XP progression is currently leveling the soldier class, this book will give a 30% boost toward the next class level instead. All right, I don't know if you guys saw last episode and if, more specifically if you saw my note about that, but... My understanding of how this works, because I, I had I had to go check out the FAQs because it was just confusing me. But basically, um, we were not leveling machine guns because what happens is we can't start leveling the machine guns to level two until soldier itself is level two. So all of those points that I was expecting to go into machine guns was actually going into progress towards level two. And, and as we can see, we're all, almost 20% there. All right, so that's how that works. Now, if uh, I'm reading this correctly, by reading this, this is just going to give us a 30% boost to soldier itself. All right, so if we go back to soldier then, yeah. There we go. See, now we're at 49.49%. Nice. Okay, so then if we read this, it should be the same thing, right? 30% boost. And then go back to here. And we're now... Wait a minute. That didn't seem to update. What the... F oh, because that went towards Axis. Right. That makes sense. Right, because we, we, we haven't hit level 1 on Axis yet. That makes perfect sense. All right, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I am indeed. Okay, so this we got to buy the injector for. Um, let's do that. And we'll put this in medical. We'll put that in food. Uh, explosives is not something. Uh, we, actually, we should have probably actually keep that with us. Uh, and then we'll just put these parts here. We're going to sell this. Um, 
And then for the repairable table saw, what I'm going to do with this golden rod is a T ups. I'm going to actually put it here. And that way, if we do contract um, dysentery, you know, we'll have it there to read. This I'm going to put in here until we can get the injector, which I think we can buy from Briston or one of those vending machines. And then, okay, so for, let's go recipes, table saw. We should have all of this. Oh, right, hammer and pliers. Wait a second. I thought I, whoops. I must have pulled those back out because I made another set for that. Yep, I did. Okay. All right. Now we need four iron pipes, which I have in an unbroadcasted chest because I want to don't want to accidentally um, use them. These are just kind of here for us to, to use for crafting purposes. Meaning that I don't want to grab them and go sell them because that's kind of been my bread and butter lately for making money. Uh, no, go back to here. Okay, now we can make the table saw. Nice. Okay, that's going to take two minutes, so we'll let that do its thing. Um, let's put this in here. We got two meat stews. That gives us... 30 food. Uh, yeah, let's let's wait a little bit um, until we get down a little more, and then we'll eat that. And then we'll keep the pipe bombs to, to start using. This we're going to sell. And then, uh, yeah, for the music stuff, here, let me put... What is this? That's murky water. And these we need to fill back up. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, I made this repair kit because we need that for the ratchet, which is almost broken, but not quite. So, yeah, we'll we'll worry about that uh, table saw later because we don't need to really do anything with it right now. So let's go to the south wrecked and see if he has any casings. And then, uh, and I'll take a look at that injector and see how much that thing costs. And then I, then I think what we ought to do is travel to the western end of the city and see if we can find another trader and just kind of check it out. And then maybe hit uh, some of the smaller uh, purge POIs. There is um, some oil shale in this place, but we don't have a chemistry bench yet. So that probably isn't going to do us a whole lot of good at this point. Let's go look at you. Oh, you're the dude that has those books. Oh, here's the injector right here. That's, uh, that's not terribly expensive. Why don't we buy that? Okay. Right. You're the one that has those books. Okay. So that means... Uh, if we want, like, say, parkour, we, we have to buy this. Oh, my God, that is expensive, though. I mean, for us here and now, very expensive. What does this do? Deployable mine shaft and related extensions. Well, we have to be, we have to be level 30 anyways. I'm curious about what that actually does, though. Jeez, this shit's expensive, man. Okay, well, anyway, that's where we get the books, because um, I was questioning that earlier. I guess I, I forgot that Briston was the dude that could sell this stuff. So that's uh, that's definitely beyond our means right now. Um, trade DNA boost, useful information. Okay, so we got, uh, we got this. Let's go sell the bike to Rekt and see if he has any brass casings. You better buy something. Don't test my patience. It's thinner than your wallet. Oh, he's got 190. Okay. I think that's a good thing to spend money on right now. Probably the all most important thing. Goods and that's all besides 
uh, stuff to drink, of course. And we still have 994 cash even after that. Very good. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to the base, and I'm going to make 190 more rounds so we actually have some ammo, and then we're going to go do some purges. That is the plan. Stan. Um, yeah, we can stand to drink one of those, and we'll save the other one. All right, so I'll see you guys here in a little bit. And also, we are going to still... Oh, God. Why does a wolf have to show up with the bear? Oh, man. Uh, I don't want to waste ammo on those guys right now because we have plenty of meat. How did you get in there? Okay, here, let's lead him away from our mini bike. Okay. Um, I will meet you guys en route to the western end of town after I get this ammo made. You know what? I changed my mind. It's getting on in the day. So let's go visit the western end of town first. Then we'll go back, make ammo. Then we'll go do a POI. Because, you know, I don't give a shit about doing a POI at nighttime. It doesn't really make it that much difference. But if we want to drive around and, you know, try and find another trader and even just see the sights. That isn't going to work at night because it's so dark, you know. So let's just go all the way to the west. That's a That's got to be a different cop car, right? Yeah. I, I don't think I've even been this far west yet. Oh, very nice. Look at that stuff. Oh, uh, here. Let's get rid of that. Oh, shit. Fucking bears. Yeah, this is as far west as we've actually been. We'll hit some more cop cars along the way. Ooh, we've got a pocket mod. Very good. There is a shit ton of cop cars in this town. And I am not complaining about that. Look at that. That's amazing. This place is huge. Well, that's a that's a vanilla cop car. Uh, all right, how much ammo do I have? Okay, let's do this. That's a white. Um. Okay. Die, please. Another vanilla cop car. No, no, no. No spitting allowed. Better not hit my mini bike. Okay. Damn it. I was going to make that auto loot mod. We're going to do that when we get back home, too. Okay, got some more beer and, oh, and a ratchet too. That better than the one we have. It is. Well, there you go. This we're just gonna sell. Uh, let's see, take that out of there. Modify, put that in there. Yeah, we used a hell of a lot of ammo on that though. Cause those are some tough enemies. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 
We might be further ahead to not, you know, not fight those guys and just run away from them and then come back later. Just because of the ammo expenditure. It's significant. Yeah, I'm going to let you live, bud, because I don't want to expend ammo on you. All right, let's do this one. All right, who do we have? We have a big mama. Looks like a yo. A skinny Pete. I mean, those almost aren't too nasty, but they are feral because they're... That one's Pete's feral. wasn't too bad. Trying to really conserve my ammo here. Alright, Big Mama, you're pretty slow. And you're not even feral, so we're just going to axe you. Okay. Mm, that was not worth it. Not even close. Well, we're down to 19 rounds now. Yeah, th that's a... Uh, that one wasn't worth it. The one before was, was better, but... Oh, well. I mean, it was worth it to get the kills, you know, for the XP and stuff. But the loot wasn't really... Anything to write home to mother about? What does this say? Can't be deficient area. Okay. Oh, there's the desert. That's good to know. Because that's the next biome we'll have to go to. Uh, when the time comes. Let's just get close to it so it shows up on the edge of the map. But I'm not going to go into it. Alright. That'll show up. Where does this road go? Just along the farm. Okay, we could come out here, you know, to, to get crops at some point. Right. Uh, this is a, yeah, this is a level three. No, we're not doing a level three. See where this road goes. I'd be kind of surprised if there wasn't a trader on this end of town. Just because this city is so damn big, right? Let's see if the, the trader icon thingy shows up. Oh, look at that vehicle. That's cool looking. Where'd that wolf go? Oh, he's right there. Okay. There's another wheel, too. We already did this car, right? Yeah. Uh, no, we didn't. Okay. All right. We're going to pop this open, but I'll come back and get it later. Oh, uh, well, maybe not. Here comes a wolf. Two wolves. That guy's fast. 
He's the motherfucker that killed me in the last episode. Yeah, this is the street we came down here because that's the last cop car we did. Okay, well let's uh let's just head north then and stay on the western edge of town as we head north. There's a shotgun messiah. Slab house. That's an interesting place. Oh, here we go. Nice. All right, we found a third wrecked. I'll sell you goods. But it flash some cash or get lost. Oh, uh, I want to sell this to you. And I want to buy... Oh, he's got just straight up 762 ammo. I mean, we could do that too, I suppose. Do you have any bullet casings? You don't. All right, how much is that going to cost me? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, no, we can't afford that. Uh... All right. Shit, man. I treat you that good, and you don't even fucking tip me. Let's buy these. And we have... Okay, let's buy some dog food. I don't see any miso. You know, we can make chili dogs. Um, why, don't we, why don't we buy a couple things of chili? Because we learned that recipe. Uh, I don't know. Are these going to have... I don't think these have any tools in them. I am curious about something, though. Now that we do have three wrecks, can I wrench this? It doesn't let me do it. Okay, so he's got those protected, which makes sense. Because um, I have not seen one of those out in the world. The only place I've seen them is here at the Trader's. Uh, let's do an ammo exchange with Briston. Ooh, 59. That's pretty good. That's pretty good indeed. Okay, so that gets us up to 78, uh, 6. Yeah, 76. Good. Pick right there. Okay, so... It is still conceivably possible that there could be a wrecked up in the northwest part of town, too. So let's head that way and see what happens. Okay, that's probably about as far as we want to go that way. But, you know, at least we've found the desert, so we know where to go when the time comes. That's going to be a while. Okay, that car is uh, a repairable. I would have siphoned the gas, but... We kind of had a bear coming after us. There's a moose. I'm curious about something. If we just go a little ways into this desert. So we could actually come here and mine sand. And if we found a an oil shale like right on the edge, hmm. Okay. Well, I mean that's good to know that 
If we just wanted to get a shit ton of sand, we could go right on the edge there anyway. We can also take a vitamin and then go all the way into it, but I don't really want to use vitamins for that. Look at this vehicle. Well, that's cool. This place is so big, man. I mean, I don't even know how practical it is that... <laughs> That we'll be able to clear 75% of it. It's certainly possible, but God, how long is that going to take us? I don't know. Don't know the answer to that. Okay, so we've pretty much covered the entire city now. And I have the ability to make 274 more rounds. I think this is a, I think this is a, a purge here. So why don't we do it? Yeah, there's a Zom right there. 11 entities. Holy shit. Really? That many? That's a lot of... Damn it. That's a lot of zombies. That guy's fast. Couple of them are snakes. At least they're not ghostly robotic metallic snakes. Okay. Are you still alive? <laughs> Get some cash off these guys. Yeah, he's another one of those disappearing Zeeks. All right, did we get credit? Oh, no, we still have seven zombs to do. Damn. Ranger boots and another Walkman. Yeah, that's a creep creepy crawly. There he is. Where are the other ones, though? Are they up above? Oh. All right, that estimate was way off. <laughs> okay, good. Got another one done. 17 down, 542 to go. Uh... Oh, there's, there's three zombies around here. Where are they? In, oh, maybe in the back, I'll bet. Okay. Yep, there they are right there. All right, who are we dealing with? Fast mover? Yep. Not anymore. All right. Okay, we got a spider. Is 
And then this Zom is like stuck up here. That doesn't suck. Lots of resources in here. Oh, brass, baby. Yeah. That is good. Good, good, good. That was a decent chunk of brass, too. Let's hit these for nails. I know I could harvest um, a lot of this other stuff, too, but as you can see, we're a bit encumbered. This would be a terrible time for a horde to show up. Let's eat. That'll get us some health back and some food back. And let's also take this tier two outfits quality one. All right. Nice. Moving up in the world a little bit on that front as well. Let's take a look at our map here. Oh, uh, yeah, we want to get back on this highway. Just another one of those vehicles that I was going to look at earlier when the... Oh, it's a Warthog. Nice. And if we could find one of these to fix up, that'd be kind of fun. Okay, so I'm still pondering how we're going to find a distiller and a propane tank. Let's see if we have anything else we want to sell to rectum. Take a look in here. Um, I would sell him that. We want to obviously save the brass. We could sell them this Walkman. I already have two Walkmans. So we got to do that too. There's too many things to try to remember. Uh, we could sell them the acid because I've got plenty of that. How much? Nah, I don't think I want to burn a repair kit on that. We can sell them that stuff. And we'll sell the boots. We need to put the armor pocket in one of our our mods. So yeah, these these four things here. And let's do we are uh, do we need this? 25 water, 87, 97. Yeah, we could we could stand to take one of those. And really, uh, we could just eat this other thing too, and that'll get us pretty much completely topped off. Hey, jackass! Can I lighten that? What are you, a zombie? Decide already. Okay, so that gets us up to 748. Um, he's got 762. Does he have any brass? He does not. Okay. You cheap ass son of a We've bitch. We've got just a That's all you're gonna buy? tiny, tiny bit of ammunition to sell. Or trade, rather. Enough for three. Three more rounds. Alright. Cool. Um, I did go back up in this house here and got the rest of that stuff that I had to leave behind when the horde attacked in case anybody's curious so yeah we got that done 
Speaking of which, we're about due for a horde here any time. Uh, all right, so let's take all of that, put this back in here, and I'm probably going to have to go do some more wrenching. Can I even move? Oh, yeah, I can move. Okay. Well, let's hope the horde doesn't show up before we get all this stuff put away. And then I'm going to, you know, get bullets going, too. Okay, let's make 274 762s. Put that back in there and that back in there. And these bullets can go back in here. Got a little bit of brass, so we want to make bullet casings with those. Only seven? Shit. <laughs> That's terrible. That is terrible. Cat food can go in there. Didn't we? Can we buy some dog food as well? Uh, what do we need for the chili recipe? Ah, oh, shit. We need that. Oh, damn it. We need that other cooking thingy. So we can't. We can't make any chili right now. Okay. Well, we'll just hang on to that for when we can. It's as simple as that. Let's go here and. Uh, no. Go here. Grab you. We'll put you on so we get another slot. Let's see how this works. Recipes. Injection charisma. Craft. Oh, is that going to consume that injector? It is, then obviously we should have bought two of them. This injection will boost your charisma. Okay, so right now... Our charisma is 1451. Oh, it didn't consume it. Nice. Okay. And now it's 2441. What is this? Increase trade and reward choices by three. Hmm. I don't even, I don't remember uh, selecting that. And now our charisma is 34. Look at that. Your luck is improving. So this is going to be like loot bonus stuff, basically. Yeah. Loot bonus. Gotcha. And I know charisma is important for... Um, or, or specifically, I think charismatic nature is important for hiring NPCs. But unfortunately... Uh, that is disabled in the perch. I don't really even know why, but it is. So kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Right, let's put the injector back in there. Let's see what this uh, Walkman business is about here. So how do we do this? Recipes. Walkman and headphones. Oh, we need the headphones. Ew. Okay, so I guess had this. Okay, your global. You can listen to songs from your collection with a Walkman or when driving a vehicle. Wait, what just happened? Oh, I'll bet you it added it to like a library. One way we could test that is we could go sit down in our cop car. And see um, what happens. So let's put that back there and we'll put that back there. Didn't we just make a table saw? In here. Yeah. All right. Let's put that. Here, and that in there. Okay, nice. So we got a table saw. Okay, so we still have 178 more 
ammo to go. Okay, so to listen to music, um, let's go keyboard and mouse. Options, movement. Oh, you know what? I don't know if he's got the... I bet he doesn't have those in here. Uh, Briston has the keyboard shortcuts. Oh, there we go. It was the backspace key. But how do I know what I'm listening to, though? I don't know what it is that I'm listening to. Groovy. <laughs> so, do I have to listen to the song all the way through to get credit for it? Because we're supposed to be able to get some kind of reward for these. I just don't remember where it is. Is it under global achievements? Oh, yeah, here we go. Ah, okay, so we're listening to Protocol. Gotcha. Upon completing the entire set, you'll be granted with the following bonus when you use your Walkman. Take me some more. Oh, so <laughs> we have to be using the Walkman. That's kind of cool, though. I like that. I like that. So Synthwave Volume 1. Uh... Okay, so we're on volume two. Upon clean, uh, completing the entire set, you will be granted the following bonus when using your Walkman, 10% additional run speed. That's nice. And, okay, so this is the actual credit that we're getting. So we just need these other seven. So, okay, do we have to listen to all of them all the way through, or what if we do this? use does this tell us what oh yeah okay so it does tell us what they're called so this is turn one okay where did i find that shit at uh here so this is volume one turn one Okay, so we get credit for it as soon as we start listening to it. This gives us 60 additional max stamina and 20% more resources while mining. Oh, nice. Okay, so, like, we want to have our Walkman on when we're mining and stuff. That could be dangerous, though. <laughs> we might not hear a horde come in. I like it. Okay, let's do the next one. So this is the Shifting Tide. That sounds like the same song we just listened to. Um, okay, so backspace cycles through them. It's It still doesn't tell me which one I'm actually listening to, though. Moon Spelunking. Oh, that's... Okay, that's new. That must be this Moon Spelunking. We don't have anything in Volume 3. Okay, this is Electric Rose. I think that's the new one there. I, I, I'm i just randomly hitting the backspace button because it, it's, it's like it's almost on a shuffle or something. Protocol. 
called Moon. There we go, Electric Rose. That might be a new one. Take my pulse, yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Okay, so once we get our Walkman put together, we got to find headphones. Uh, we'll listen to some tunes, some groovy tunes, and have some fun with that. That is really cool, though. I, I'm glad he added that to the mod. It's just extra, you know, f bells and whistles that make, make this really fun. Okay, let's do this uh, passing gas before we wrap up the episode. Because it seems to me like a gas station would be a place that we would have a chance of finding a propane tank. I have no idea where in hell we would find a distiller. And I'm going to take the time to break this open too, because it's worth it, you know, for the cash. It only takes me, you know, I don't know, a minute, maybe a minute and a half in real time. Not even probably that long. Here we go. Three hundred and sixty-five dollar make you holla. Oh shit! I'm glad you boys waited until I was done breaking that thing open. We're level eight now. Come on. Oh, fuck. We got a horde. All right. We'll have to come back and finish this later. All right. Let's see who we're dealing with here. If they're not real fast movers, you know, we could... We could do some melee here. Well, if I don't run out of stamina, that is. God, that is a lot of zombies. Holy shit. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Wow. How many Z? That's got to be the biggest horde I've seen yet. I'm... There's got to be at least 40 zombies in this horde. Unbelievable. Well, I mean, it goes back to... You know, what I said earlier, we just don't have the... Um, ammunition for a horde that large. We can do that, though. Oh man, I should have made that fucking auto mod. Well, that's too late now. Maybe that's what we ought to be doing is... And what if you guys even mentioned this to me actually in the comments? Just make, make a bunch of Molotovs and pipe bombs to deal with these assholes. <laughs> that's so many zombies. Oh my god. Once it disappeared, don't give us any loot. I don't know why that happens. Uh, do we have... No, that's just a gut pile. Okay.
Okay, let's pull them a little further away from those bodies that we killed so we can loot them. Yeah, I, I definitely see how the auto looter thing would be beneficial in this situation. Okay, let's go loot these guys. Uh, nothing's happening. Let's go. What we need to do try and get them all bunched up here. Cork it a little bit. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, let's cook it. Go. Cook it. Okay, that one we threw a little too far away. Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. Oh, shit. All right, those guys are explosion resistant. The ones with the yellow shit on their hands. You're not bullet resistant though, fucker. Oh man, why the hell didn't I make that Autobot? Okay, let's loot as fast as we possibly can. I mean, I intended to. It's not like I didn't want to make it. I just, you know, too much shit going on. This is amazing. <laughs> he was still alive. He was stuck in the ground. How funny is that? I think Rodney McDonald's still alive, too. Not anymore. Oh, that's weird, man. That they glitched into the train like that. Okay. Note to self, you can deal with these big-ass hordes with explosives and molotovs. We got to prioritize those. Yeah, we lost her. I mean, it's well... Oh, shit, they're gone. It's well worth it to kill these guys for XP, loot, uh, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, can we can we make pipe bombs? I guess that's the first question. Pipe bomb. We can't. Fuck. Can we make molotovs? Yes, we can, and they're they're not anywhere near as expensive as they are in vanilla. Way way less expensive. Okay, that's the thing, guys. I am gonna make a pile of molotovs to deal with these hordes. Um, see, we got we got some. XP stuff going on, didn't we? Um, okay, well, we're not quite there with axes, but we're 67.5% we're on just soldier in general. Oh, that is great. Okay. And um, we got a nice little pile of ammo, you know, from them too and some other stuff. Cool. Okay, let's go back and finish... This purge over here. That's a motorcycle tire, probably, right? Yeah, it is. Nice. And I have got to get that auto loot thing made. This is getting low on fuel. In fact, I'm going to have to go out and do some more. Um, some more, whatchamacallit. Salvaging.
All right, I'm gonna bullet this spider because he's too much of a pain in the ass to try and melee. break this the rest of the way. Well, actually, how am I supposed to be going in here? Not that way. That was fun. <laughs> I actually enjoyed that. Chicken soup. Oh, no. Damn it. Should have looted it first, but oh well. Oh, look at that. And we'll sell those, because obviously we don't need bicycle wheels. Here's how we get in here. Nothing. Come on, game. Give me a fucking propane tank, man. I was thinking maybe a hardware store, you know? That could also be potentially a place. You know, these cash registers sell pretty good. Well, that one's broken. Oh, yes, vitamins. Dart trap. Nice. All right, we want to put that to use in, at a later date. Beer, we like beer. Goldenrod, we like goldenrod. All right. I see two zombs. They're right there. One of them is an explosion resistant. Let's see if we can get him to come to the door. Um. All right. Are you fast? Kinda. All right, there's one in the backyard there. Let's take a bandage. over here, bruh. Okay, it says there's three left. Let's just break in through here. Probably, there could be a dog back here. Check these boxes. See if there's any brass in them. Well, that was brass, but that's not kind of. Oh, right. This is the place with the bunker down below. Gotcha. We don't really need another workbench. Okay, let's let's go back in here for a second and make sure. Oh, uh, there's anything. Well, okay, there's also a Darlene. Where's that coming from? I, I, I think they're probably underground there. Tools. All right. What do we got here? More tools. Was there a thing to open that door? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, 
Okay, see, we got a brass radiator here, too. We've got to find that propane tank so we can scrap that stuff. Right, I got to drop off because I'm too heavy. Yeah, they're down in there. Okay, there's, um... Let's take another bandage. Let's get the loot. Oh, nice. Enforcer shoes. That's light armor, so that's not going to be any better than what we currently have. Good. Cat Chow makes the tamale stuff. Nice. Look at that. Always happy to take steel ingots. Come on, 762s. All right, well, we can exchange those. What's that? A baking pan. Required for advanced cooking skills. Okay. That's new. Medicine cabinet with another vitamin and an herbal antibiotic. That is good stuff. Oh, look at that. It's 12762s in the gore of the bathtub. Don't even think about it. Just accept it. I know. It makes no sense. But it is what it is. Okay. So we got a decent chunk of loot out of here. And we got another purge done. So now we're 19 down. And we have 542 to go. <laughs> no, actually, 542 is the total. So we actually have 523 to go. And we are over halfway to our next airdrop. We are level 9. I am game stage 21 and loot stage 12. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the all the information in the lower left-hand corner. We're getting close to level 1 on axes, too. So we're making progress. We just got to, you know, we've been doing so many other things, and they've all been good things. They sure, certainly haven't been a waste of time, but, you know, we just really need to focus in on killing Zeke's because that's what I think is really going to advance us here. And gosh, man, I really wish we could find that damn propane tank and a distiller, but you know, we'll just keep looking. That's all we can do. For the propane tank, I got to thinking about that a little bit and I, th I think that's something we're going to loot. Because all the other tools, you know, like the saw blade and the screwdriver, hammer, you know, that we need for tools for the other workstations, uh, those are loot items. Those are items we found in loot. So the propane is also going to be something we're going to find in loot. I just haven't found it yet. So seems to me like hardware stores, gas, you know, gas stations um, are, you know, the most likely place for stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode. This is a fun episode. And I'm going to haul all this shit upstairs, make as much ammo as I can, go out, wrench a shit ton of cars to get gasoline, both for the mini bike and also to make some Molotovs. So the next time we get attacked by a horde, we are going to burn those motherfuckers. That is the plan. And I got a little bit of ammo I can go turn into Briston too for some more 7.62s. So thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we will catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.